Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly go over the new and exciting news we got from Monster Hunter Eyes on the Nintendo Switch. With the recent news dump we've been getting in the past week, it's been a bit hard to keep track of everything that's going on. With that said, something that may have actually fallen through the cracks is the confirmation that we now know what armor sets you will be getting in Monster Hunter Rise from your Monster Hunter Stories 2 save data if you actually happen to have both of them in your Nintendo Switch system. According to the game's official Japanese Twitter account, when Monster Hunter Stories 2 launches on July 9th and you create your save file on your system, you'll automatically be granted a download of option in Monster Hunter Rise for a brand new set of layered armor. So actually speaking to the courier in Monster Hunter Rise will give you the automatic option to access it and download your brand new layer set. Both the female and the male default starting armor from Monster Hunter Stories 2 should now be attainable in Monster Hunter Rise, so you can deck out your hunter with these brand new threats and show them off in the game. At the same time, you'll now also have the option to do the very same thing in Monster Hunter Stories 2 by having the saved data from Monster Hunter Rise into your Monster Hunter Stories 2, so you should be able to unlock the Camera Village Starter Armor set from Rise in Monster Hunter Stories 2. That basically looks just like the exact same starter set from Rise, but now you should be able to have that as well. This is a neat and basic crossover option that Capcom has been pushing for since the reveal of Monster Hunter Stories 2, since they're basically hoping people who play Rise will give the series a chance and hopefully elevate its status. It should go without saying that since this is going to be on Switch, it'll sell extremely well and probably be the best selling entry when compared to any of the 3DS games. That's not even to mention the fact that the game is launching day on date on PC, so PC players should also be able to jump in if they so desire. But that's actually going to be it for this quick update. I am actually working on a different set of videos for my channel, but I do want to still make a Monster Hunter Stories 2 video covering all of the monsters that we know so far, so do stay tuned for that. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.